Oh. Oh my god, everybody's just falling. Hey guys, Peter Bread here, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 for Immortal Sisters Challenge. This is part 8. Um, but yeah, we're last left off. We had our second child, we named her Dawn. I was hoping we get a boy so that we, we have like at least one boy and one girl, but there's always there's always next time, right? So Neith has two kids to look after now. Her job is getting a little bit more difficult, but it's not that crazy. Right now she's hugging, hugging Kaya. What are you trying to do? No, don't follow Kaya. I know that's your mother, but don't do it, okay? Go sleep in the um, dog bed and also face cam. Oh my god, so many face cam videos in a row. It's kind of crazy. Um, this is my first time face camming for this series. So, for those of you that are new here and haven't seen my face yet and are only here for this series, well, yeah, I'm Asian. Don't you dare bother her. All right, so you guys can probably see me pull my hair out literally. Um, let me go ahead and delete this bottle real quick. Gotta make sure the timing is, yeah, time is on. Alright, so today, yeah, we're just gonna look after Dawn. Maybe she might grow up in this episode. Probably gonna speed this video, like, speed up the game quite a bit. Once again, try my best not to pause the game so much, because that literally annoys me as I edit this stuff. I'll be really surprised if she does get a promotion. Um, I also want to go out today because I, I think we've been home for a couple episodes now and I want to go out. I mean, it's it's about time we go out to look for a new victim, right? Just start getting, start getting that victim. And also, we need to get another friend. We need to get a BFF. For me, I'm going to get a best friend and then we'll feed them off to the cow plant. You guys know what I'm saying, right? You need to get a BF. Okay. Hey, Neith, is Winnie available to talk? No, oh, sorry. And we're also going to teach her how to potty train today, so we're going to lock that in. Um, I also want to do some of her skills, so social and comfort, we'll do that. And we'll save this because we want her bladder to go down a little bit faster. And I love how they give you this option here for the work thing, like, she's just a kid. You should not enable that right now. Alright, Tara's back. Tara is back from work today, and she's brought 322. Hallelujah. Some money. Everybody's like really tired. Look, freaking Wendy's asleep. Kaya is sleeping. I'm gonna wake her up right now so she doesn't ruin her sleeping schedule. And we're gonna get some food in us real quick, and then we'll head off to a community lot. We'll head off to a community lot. And I don't even know where to place this camera. Like, I don't know. Should I put it in the bottom right corner? I think this spot right here is, should be fine enough. Fine enough, yeah. What should I have her make? Hamburgers? Let's have her make hamburgers. Don't bother her, she's gonna make some food. So you can take a quick nap because I know that making these hamburgers is gonna take a bit of time. So that's what that noise was. Freaking dog is digging a hole in our lawn, man. Goodness gracious. Chase off. Get out. Get out. Get out. These two dogs, they're like the same. They're the same dog. They're like twins. No, this is the, the, the wolf. This is the wolf. Wait, no, they're both wolves. Wait, is it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Oops, just watching the fight happen. You know what? I'm gonna just go back inside. And this guy's like, oh my god, those dogs are fighting. Oh no, the cake's here. Let's feed them. Oh, hamburgers are done. And baby is crying. Hold on. Let me go get Dawn real quick. And freaking Yuna needs to get a bath here in a bit. We haven't actually bathed um, Yuna before as a toddler. Let me check out if these other girls have points to spend. Alright, so, so Kaya. Kaya has Kaya has more points. Local legend. There comes a time in every Casanova's life when their reputation be begins to precede them. <laughs> Word of your romantic prowess has spread through town and neighbors of your preferred gender are more likely to be found coincidentally strolling past your house. So we're gonna go towards 
going to work towards this next, and then lastly we'll get the smooth talk. So this is going to help us quite a bit. It also smooths things over with Sim who is furious with you. That is actually really helpful. I think that is going to help out quite a bit. Let me check out the other girls. Nope. Just Kaya, right? The baby, well, we already did Yuna's. Only two days left before Yuna's birthday. Oh my gosh, I need to hurry up and teach her some stuff. Teach her as much as I can. Okay, get rid of this bottle. What? What in the world? Okay, good, you're disposing of that. I think I'm gonna have Tara go along with um, Kaya again to go fishing for some more stuff. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. This also annoys me too when I'm editing is when I fast forward and just constantly change speeds all the time, but it, it helps. They have that function for a reason, so yeah. Alrighty, she's finally learned how to potty train. I'm so happy. Awesome. Potty train, knows how, knows how to walk. She wants to also talk, but I'm going to lock in. Yeah, I'm going to learn to talk. Yay, your first bath, Yuna. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa, what just broke? Did you hear that? Oh, it's this thing. Aw, this is so precious, but Yuna looks like a rat still. Cheat on all of them. But she wants to move three different sims. We already got two done, so we just need one more. I think it's a little too late to go out right now, so we'll wait till the next morning to go out to um, find the next victim. <laughs> Look at her walk now. Aw. Look at her walk. Okay, Neith, don't go to sleep yet, first of all. You need to clean this up, fix or this, fix this, and I'll take care of the bottle. Easy. It's so funny to have a little walking toddler now. Alright, Neith, you looks like you're doing a great job. Just kidding, you didn't even fix it at all. Well, what is your mechanical skill? She has level 3, and that's not too bad. Not that bad. Plus it's fall, so you should be able to fix that a lot faster. Alright. Dang it, it looks like we're not going to be able to teach her to talk. Well, actually, we'll do it for a little bit. Hold on. Let me have Wendy. No, don't touch baby. Run down here. Skip here. Wee. She's like, hi there, my precious Yuna. How are you doing right now? Okay, let's get this at least started. We have one more day after this. Actually, she's going to be aging up tomorrow. Can't wait to see her as a child, man. I wonder what she's going to look like then. Because maybe their, their, their face might change. I questioned myself this when I was younger. I asked my parents, Hey, Mom and Dad, is my face going to change when I grow older? They're like, no, your face is not going to change. Like, I'm going to look like this forever. You're, obviously, you're growing. She, at least she's still in Platinum Moon. Okay, so we got some work on that talking there. Let's go let her sleep now. Let her go sleep. She's going to pass out. Actually, no, no, no. Go use that and then go sleep. Why is this got to be so far away? So far away from each other. Okay, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep then. Captain's like, I'm about to get hungry again. You better fucking feed me. Everybody in this household is kind of sleeping. Oh, God, Tara, you stinky ass. No, stop. Take a shower. <laughs> I, I wonder if Dawn's going to grow up today, too. That would be really cool. Two birthdays. Terry has carpool in an hour. Wendy's been using a lot of her, um, I wouldn't say sick days. Does she have any? Yeah, sick. Be sick. She's faking in sick a lot, but she doesn't have work today, so that's really good. She can finally teach her some more. What does Yuna get from this? Cooking? I think she learns cooking skill from actually eating. Actually eating this. Take Tara with us. Actually, Tara has to go to work, so never mind. Ah, bye, Tara. And we're going to go to, let's see, um, but I think we're just going to go to the roller rink. Let's go there. Let's see how that goes. We're going to do some roller skating. We're going to meet some people. We're, we're single and we're ready to mingle. You know, it's not like we murdered two people. Sorry. Why does Eli want to talk so much? Does Eli love Neith or something? Does he want to get romantically involved with Neith? Because after this series is done, I think I might have that happen. Alright, but happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Yeah, here we are. I think, yeah, we've been here before. Took the little fields here be once. Alright, so there's not really many people here. Who is that? Gabe Omaki? Ooh, he could be the next victim. Or we could go for Andrew Pearson. Pearson. Okay, you know what? 
Instead of looking for a lover, we're going to look for a friend. We're going to switch it up a bit because we already have two babies and I'm going to wait for them to grow at least to a child till we have our next baby. And so we're going to make a friend for now. We're going to talk to Virginia. We're going to be so... F we're going to have so much fun with her, you know? Just get... Butter her up. Butter her up. Be a best friend. And eventually fit her off to the cow plant. So that's what it all leads to eventually. And they have the same voice, right? You know? It's not like all adult females have the same voice in this game. No. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. There's nothing you can do about that, though. You can change that in Sims 3 and Sims 4, though. Alright. Um, chat. No, no, no. S screw you, Sinjin Wong. Screw you. I think we might want to raise our reputation as well. What is our reputation right now? We're an amicable acquaintance. So if we, be, like, talk to a lot of people here... That's probably going to go up, and we're going to be known as, like, the nicest person in the neighborhood. But, um... Uh-oh. There's a witch. There's a witch on this lot. Oh no, it's a bad witch! Oh gosh, she's going to make it rain here. Hi, Kaya. You know, I, I think you'd really hit it off with this person. I know, I'd love to set you up on a blind date right here and right now. Are you interested? Sure. You know what? We're going to take this opportunity. We're going to say yes. Oh, Shiza. Oh, wow. Look at you. <gasps> it's Kevin Broody. Hey, how's it going there? Wow. Wow, I didn't know that freaking... I didn't know that Virginia was a matchmaker. <laughs> oh, Kaya, looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. You're simply the coolest sim I've had in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know. They have chemistry, too. That is really good. That is really good. Can we do even a romantic things with him? <gasps> We're already friends! What? This is crazy. This is crazy. We're already friends. We don't have to work that much then. That's good. Okay, let's make this date the best one ever. Let's make it a good date. Oh god, he has a crush on us now. Dirty joke. The date is just good now. Alright, we're going to ask... Back to my place. Do you want to ride home? Ooh, I've actually never seen those actions before. What's going on? What is going on? I don't know what's going on. Alright. This is the fastest victim I've ever gotten. I don't know why. Thank you, blind dates. Holy crap! That went up quite a bit. Now we have four more minutes. Okay, can we go, like, roller skating together? Let's go skating together, Kevin. Okay. The date is now great. Oh, jeez. Um, ask to join. Ask to join. Come on. Let's go skating. Um, twirl with Kevin. Let's twirl with Kevin, yo. What does he want? Oh yeah, we gotta look at his wants now. He wants to dance with us, he wants to play, talk, and be best friends. You know what? We don't even have to make him our lover. We can just feed him off to the Capulet too as a friend. Come on, let's twirl together, Kevin. Kevin, come back here, you bitch. Here we go. It's like, yeah, twirl with me. I'm going to... Oh god, why are you school... Why are you... Why is your leg so spread out like that, Kaya? Oh. oh my god, everybody's just falling. That's amazing. Okay, I'm done roller skating now. Let's go, Kevin. Let us go, Kevin. Come here. Follow me. Come here. Ooh, cuddle under the clouds. Do we want to do that? Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, you want to stop? Get your ass over here. He's still skating. Our date's not going to be so good if you're going to skate the whole time, man. Kevin? Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Let's end the date. You're a great date, baby. We just have to do this again. All right. That's okay. He's just going to skate for the rest of his life. Thank you, um, Virginia, for setting us up. But I want you to be my friend still. So let's just... Wait, we're not that close to hug, are we? No, she's gonna reject us. Hey, yeah, what are we now? We are distinguished do-gooder. Holy shiza, our reputation went up a lot. Like, we're almost maxed out reputation. That's crazy. Oh my god. I do, re I do recall that um, reputation might come with 
apartment life, so if you don't have apartment life, you might not have reputation option. Alright, well, we did some decent work here. We made a pretty good lover. He could be the next victim for the cow plant. He is the next victim for the cow plant. But I also want to be a little bit closer to Virginia, but... I think we spent a fairly, fairly good amount of time here, so we're gonna just go ahead and go back home. Actually, should we go grocery shopping? Nah, I think we're fine. We'll just order. If we run out of groceries, we'll just call on the phone. So let us go to the bathroom. How much rest? Oh my gosh, she is taking forever. Taking forever. This dog bed gives us a lot of energy too. Oh god, Wendy. Oh gosh, I forgot I put you in your underwear. That's kind of surprising seeing you dress like that. Um, let's go get some leftovers. After that. Okay, wake up. Wake up so I can teach you how to talk. I'm gonna get you over here real quick. This is the teaching room, I like to say. What are you doing, Kaylin? What are you doing, Kaylin? Why are you reading our newspaper? Why? Are you... She had the audacity to come all the way back here to read the newspaper. How dare you? How dare you? Alright, we already know Wendy has the day off. That's not really news. Not really news. We're gonna wait for her to walk all the way over here. Actually, no, you can stop there. We're gonna teach her to talk right there. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh god, Wendy, at least put on some normal clothes. That's okay. Her poor eyes. During warm-ups, Tara notices that one of the starting players has forgotten his knee brace on the practice field. Without the brace, the first stringer the first stringer will surely re-injure himself. As a bench warmer, Tara could make a good impression by returning the brace to him, or she could hide the brace since she'd be in the next line for his position. Were he to be sidelined with an injury. Oh my god, we could be good or we could be really evil. So do we want to return the brace? I think karma, you know, good karma if you do good things, good things will happen to you. I believe in that kind of a bit. Um, but yeah, let's return the brace. Wait, wait, wait. I, I read the last line. I thought she lost points, but Tara jogs over to pick up the knee brace and heads off to find the player who misplaced it. She returns the brace, and the, pl the player is so thankful to have found the custom fit device that he asks her if she would like to begin daily private practices. Ooh, private practices with him. She earns two body skill points due to focus training. Wow. See? Good good stuff happens if you do good things. Let that be a thing. And this is, this is going to sound stupid, but whenever I go shopping and I have my cart outs in the parking lot when I'm just putting my groceries in the car, I always put the cart back in its place. I always say, if I do a good thing, good things are going to happen to me. I always got to put the cart back in the spot because I see people out there who just leave it out in the freaking... Uh, they leave it in one of the parking spots and it just annoys the hell out of me. So I always return it because it's common sense. People should be doing that anyway, but there's people out there who are lazy as fuck. So, yeah. And if you're in a hurry, just run. Just run with the car. Make sure you look where you're going, though, so you don't get hit by a car. Not that difficult, people. There's always, like, a, a station to put your cart somewhere. All right, so we're about halfway into teaching her this. Teaching her this thing. And I think I've been recording for quite a bit now. So in the next episode, we're going to have two birthday parties. I think Don and Yuna are going to age up. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you want to continue watching this series or any other series on the channel, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to move myself up here because why not? But yeah, thank you guys for taking the time already to watch this video. Hope you all have... Hope, hope you... Hope you all have a wonderful Friday, and I'll see you all in the next upcoming video. Stay tuned, stay awesome. I love you all. Peter Brad signing out.